Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Reviews. Unless it's your first time, then welcome. Please consider subscribing. If you do, hit the notification bell. Get all the updates. Really time for today's beer. It's courtesy of Keith. Thanks so much, Keith. I really appreciate it. Uh, it's Tuesday, so I'm testing my palate, trying to do something that's a little different, or a lot different. Uh, this one is, well, it's an IPA. So you might be thinking to yourself, that doesn't sound different at all uh, from what you review a lot of. Uh, but this one, I, I'm going to argue, is a little different. Uh, it's from Hill Farmstead. It's uh, self-reliance uh, Czech Saz, Farmsteed, Farmsteed India Pale Ale brewed and dry hops solely with Czech Saz hops and conditioned in oak barrels. So already it's a hop that I don't have a lot of, don't have a lot of in IPAs, and it was oak barrel aged. This is not normal for me, uh, but it gets a little different, uh, or even more so different, um, I'm going to read the, the side and everything, so if you just want to review, you know, obviously fast forward, if you are already doing that. Uh, Ralph Waldo, sorry, Ralph Waldo Emerson's essay, Self-Reliance, inspires and compels our persistent reflection, examination, and refinement. To that end, we present you with our Self-Reliance series of Farmstead, did I say Farmstead earlier? Farmstead. Uh, single Hop India Pale Ales. This release was brewed in April of 2018. It is currently September 2020, so it's been uh, a little over two years. Uh, gener generously hop with size sourced from Czech Republic, aged in oak puncheons for four months prior to bottling, and has been intentionally bottle conditioned until reaching its peak expression. Please consume within six months for best experience. So it did just release this. So it's, although it's been in bottles for over two years, uh, they have said this is at its peak now. Please consume within six months. Um, Hill Farmstead Brewery is a culmination of travel and insight, of friendships and explorations, and of realizing a sense of one's place. Upon the hand, hand hewn land uh, of our forebears, we we honor eight generations of Greensboro ancestry by thoughtful thoughtfully engaging with our heritage and with our distinctive beers. This offering is our effort to revive, diversify, and prolong the memory of the Hill Farmstead. Share, consider, enjoy the hops that were harvested 2017. Bottled like it's, oh no, okay, it's actually bottled May 11th, 2018. Again, it was just released though, so a little over two years. Um, but I'm not seeing an ABV. Maybe I'm missing that. But anyway, definitely different from things I typically drink is the short version. Thanks again, Keith. I appreciate it, man. I was excited about this. Dirty glass. Yeah, that is, I think if I face it this way, it looks kind of clean from what the angle you're seeing. Not the angle I'm seeing. It's a very, um, like, non-filter or unfiltered, straw, sunshiny, you know, up here where there's a little bit more thickness. Down here, I mean, it's, I mean, you can see through it. So definitely not something I would, you know, say hazy or turbid, obviously. Definitely has that unfiltered look to it. But yeah, definitely, yeah, a straw, sunshiny kind of color. The head has gone away quickly. It's a very white color, uh, medium bubbles. Uh, uh, there's some teeny tiny ones, but it's mostly medium and large bubbles at this point. Yeah, that is really dirty. I can't even tell I just cleaned this glass at all. Whatever. It's the aroma. Has a little bit of that farm, farmyard, um... You know, I hate to say funk when it's not a funky beer by name or description, but it's not quite horse blanket, but it is, you know, in that realm. It, it is, it's definitely, you know, if you have given it, if you gave this to me blind, I'd probably be somewhere in the um, Saison farmhouse ale, you know, arena. I wouldn't be screaming. This is definitely an IPA. There's a nice crispness. There, there's some green apple. A little bit of pear. Kind of like I was saying with a color too, though, like the, this straw, this hay kind of cut field. 
I actually love this aroma. I know you start saying like farmyard and barn and you know it's not quite horse blanket. You know these sound like off-putting things and I get that but it's very outside it's very outdoorsy very sunshine you know you're in a field kind of a thing maybe a hint of lemon. Very refreshing that way. Let's get into the, aroma, or get into the taste. Cheers. Thanks again Keith. I'm glad I caught that lemon before the taste. Definitely had some of that lemon, or you know, I said the lemon in the aroma before I had a taste of it because it definitely has some lemon and some lemon zest. You are getting, I, I'm gonna stick to that thing I was saying. I mean, it's very farmhouse ale-y, you know? Um, I don't know the, the hops well enough, but it makes me think, and I don't know if this beer even has hops in it, but it, it's invoking a, the traditional Duvel um, Duval, how we pronounce it. Um, I don't know what hop or hops they use. I know they've done like a Citra version of it, but kind of reminds me of that, um, you know, to use this terminology, like that old world, uh, um, you know, beer making, the, the open fermentation kind of thing. It's, it's definitely invoking that. I, I, it's cool that they call it, you know, an India pale ale, but it is not smelling or drinking like that at all. At least traditionally what we think of that. I mean, there is a hop presence, which is quite something for how long this beer has been sitting. Um, you get some of that malt backbone, which is nice. It's a little crackery. Does not approach doughy. Definitely cracker. Uh, as I'm talking, you're getting a lot of lemon zest. Hint, hint of grapefruit zest, but it's definitely more lemony. It's relatively dry in that finish uh, as well. And so the whole experience, again, is, is very, just like the aroma, is very much refreshing. Um, a lot of things going without being, like, uh, fatiguing on your palate. Um, it's one of those beers that is both easy to drink, but also kind of commands your attention. Like, no, 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 there's more going on. Like, sure, you could drink this quickly, but it, you would be mistaken for doing so because there are layers, you know, to it, and, th and those are worthy of, of contemplating. I feel like I'm coming across very pretentious in this beer review. I get some of that green apple skin. The the pear I was getting the aroma, not so much in the taste. There is a cidery thing right before the finish. So it goes from that green apple skin, like your Granny Smith, like the skin of it, to there is this moment of, of cider. This moment of kind of, I'm, I'm kicking myself that I had said it doesn't approach doughy. This long into the aftertaste, that malt is a little doughy, which is kind of cool um, because you're getting complexity from something I, in a style like this that I don't talk about the complexity of it, you know, and that is the malt. Um, you know, typically it's there just to balance out the hop presence so much <laughs> versus some of these other beers that are in the background that are these malt forward beers that you do kind of talk about the complexity of the malt. This is cool. This is a really good beer. Um, there's, like I said, there's a lot going on. It's all accessible. I mean, it's pretty easy. You know, what's cool about this too, is it's pretty easy to identify the different things I am tasting, uh, and what they are like, uh, in, in other drinks, uh, and foods. Uh, yeah, cool beer. I, I think this really is in the spirit of what I'm trying to do on Tuesdays where this is not something I typically drink. This is not my norm. This is not even particularly a normal beer because of all the things that have been done to it and what they're saying the beer is with the IPA thing. But um, yeah, this is awesome. This is really good. Thanks again, Keith. I really appreciate it, man. I, I see why you did the trip up there to grab them. Uh, but yeah, thanks uh, to him. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, check me out on Instagram, Instagram, and Untapped. It's no hype beer reviews at both those places. So always please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, imbibe. Cheers, everyone.